That's so cool. Good day, folks. Oh, it is recording. <laughs> How are you? Hi. They're good. How are we? We're good. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with Mainville ATV. We're going to be talking about some of the upgrades that we bought recently and all the things that are going to change in the future. One of them being the camera we're recording on. Yay. So this is our DSLR. It's our 90D. Yeah. And we've also got a GoPro 8, which it's focusing on. This is, I have so many things to learn. Stop moving the middle. Look at I feel, you know when grandparents are like trying to turn on computers, that's how I feel right now. No, if you were a grandparent. Oh, that's the wrong ring. Damn. It's this one. It's Oops. <laughs> like, there you go. How do, where do we look? <laughs> Show me the trailer. We're gonna have to open the back gate. So I think I left the door locked. Um, Winter is here. That's good, right there. It's really a spot for that. Yeah, I'll sort that out. <laughs> Steal our stuff. <laughs> you think you're strong enough, babe? Yeah. I'm still married to you. <clears throat> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> In, isn't it hydraulically assisted? No, it's cable. <laughs> ah! So it is nice and slow. You're doing great, babe. Ah! <laughs> oh, come on, it wasn't so that bad. <laughs> Hey folks. Hi. How are you? I'm still looking at the vlog screen still instead of the <laughs> camera. So what's going on today is we're here in our new trailer. Something we've been uh, super excited to get. When did we order this? After the trapping. September. August? End of August. Well we went up to go trapping. So what we're in sitting August. in is our new trailer that we ordered sometime in August. August. 30th. There ish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give you an idea. This is November 10th, the day before Remembrance Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're doing something for that too, but yeah. that's, that's for another day. Uh, so we're in this trailer. This is a 24 foot long, eight and a half wide car hauler with a two and a half foot nose. So this thing's plenty of room, right? Two ATVs. I'm starting to shake here, holding this big old Can I camera. tell a joke real quick? Okay, what is it? Oh my god, okay. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? Why? Because then it'd be a foot. <laughs> Insert studio laugh here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'll put studio crying. Okay. Let's see if so, I can. two and a half foot nose. And, yeah. This thing is massive. Uh, it's definitely bigger than the first apartment I ever got. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. And, and now it's, uh, uh, well, it's our trailer. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool. So, like I said, it's a big trailer 24 by 8.5, 2.5 foot nose. It's all custom. So, and what I mean by that is we ordered custom features like the windows, which we have on both sides. We have the insulation, so all the walls, even the floor underneath this is insulated, the top is insulated, so everything is good to go that way. Uh, raised it, roof. Raised roof by six inches, so that way we can actually get a side-by-side -side in here. Okay. It also has a beaver tail function, so you'll see that it's angled right there, and that allows everybody to kind of crawl in here and save on some of that roof space. So we can potentially get a side-by-side -side in here at some point. If we need to. 
I think my nose is leaking. It and is, this I camera, can see it. this camera is good enough. Ugh. <laughs> this camera is good enough that you'd see it. Yeah. All you can see is my big schnoz. <laughs> um, yeah, so it has a couple tie downs in it. There's a lot of things that we still have to do for this trailer to make it our own, um, to make it all work. Roof vent. Yeah, so we have to put a roof vent in it. That's one of the things that we want to do just for ventilation. And uh, we want to sort out some closets. So we kind of want a space over there so that it, it, somewhere over there so that, you know, we can probably put a little uh, onboard bathroom, uh, space for a workbench, toolbox, some gear, hang up our gator waders, all sorts of little features. So a lot of that stuff is going to go up front. That'll leave us room all throughout back here to have our machines. Some sort of sleeping arrangement, eating arrangement, something that we can obviously set up and tear down relatively easily. Uh, we're not sure if we're going to go with Right now we have an air mattress that we've been using in our previous enclosed trailer and tents and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So maybe we'll use that for a bit, maybe build a Murphy bed. Uh, we're not sure yet. So if you have any ideas, throw it down below in your comments. If you've done a build like this before, what were your lessons learned? Um, we have a nice enough neighbor that we're not going to learn any electrical lessons learned. Yeah on this one he's going to be nice enough to install some uh hopefully we've done enough favors for each other that he'll just come <laughs> over and pop a panel in here yeah. for me i say it like it's nothing but he's gonna you know anyway yeah so we'll get the generator set up in here which will give us a lot mm -hmm. of flexibility in terms of what we could do uh we've got a camper door with the screen door which is awesome yeah. uh, hopefully we could bring diesel on some adventures with us so we'd be comfortable enough in here with the insulation all around yeah yeah there's there's so many things we're excited for and this thing has so much potential so like Cass said I really want to focus on seeing what builds you guys have um, so that I can see what <laughs> other people have done and hopefully learn from their mistakes before I make my own which yeah. I'm sure I will because I always do if you have photos I know you can't share it on YouTube but if you follow us over on Facebook or mm -hmm. Instagram you could DM us but uh, we have a Facebook group. We love to see people's builds for their machines out there. So throw up some trailer builds maybe too if you've got them. We're totally, we're a blank check right now as you can see. Um, Which is exactly what we wanted. There was other ones yeah. that we were looking at that were like 50 grand uh, in Canadian pesos. So yeah. that's like what, $400? Like $2 US. American. US. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's a toonie. <laughs> it, it, it's a freaking toonie. What's that about? Um. One thing I want you to talk about more is the door and how that's functioning so, and stuff. At the end of the day, this trailer is a car hauler. That's what the frame was designed for. And so what that basically means is this thing is designed to carry pretty significant loads. It's only, I, sh I say only, but as far as a person having a trailer, it's a 5,200 pound axle setup and there's two of them, right? So you can actually carry a significant amount of weight. That being said, uh, with the size of this thing, you could get a car in here, right? And that means the gate also has to be prepared for a car going up it. So we have no gate issues. It's very, very heavy gate. Um, that thing, honestly, the, the salesperson that we talked to that actually sold us this trailer and some of our previous trailers, uh, that thing can, is so heavy that two people can't lift it without the cable device. And I'll take a quick shot of that. So this is a pretty standard cable door setup. Uh, and this basically just is spring loaded in here. And that allows that tension to help you raise the door on these cables down here. So this is totally designed to have the weight of a car uh, go up and in it. So that's just the little helper ramp just so you can get up the lip. But as you can see, Cass is lifting it no problem, and that girl can barely open a pickle jar. Don't let it slam, please. I didn't want it to slam. There's no handle on that side. <laughs> One thing we were worried about, um, the salesperson also did say, don't let it slam too hard because the cable can actually jump in there. And when that happens, it's a bit of a pain to unjump, like it all, all gets twined, twined up. I actually have word? to put a significant amount of effort into like lowering this. So it's not me like, resisting the door coming down it's me actually like pulling it down right so it's super duper assisted so uh really excited about thing this thing it's all led it's all ready to go it's heavy duty i think it's something we can actually gr grow into as opposed to always buying a new trailer every year yeah <laughs> um, because we go through a lot of them 
bit of an upgrade from that guy. This one still has a use, but we are selling it. So the reason we went from, we started with an enclosed trailer. It was a, a seven by 14 of the same make from the same salesperson. This is from Northland Trailer Sales in uh, Sudbury, Ontario. Probably the prices are so cheap, honestly, he knows that people are buying them there and then selling them for a profit at home, but he has no problem with that. Um, so we'll make sure to leave some uh, description points for you if you guys want to find them. Uh, we don't, we're not sponsored by them. We're not anything like that. But uh, in case you're interested in enclosed trailers or custom orders, give them a call. It says Justin at Northland Trailer Sales. Um, this trailer we got after our first enclosed, which wasn't big enough to have our quads. So this one is actually the same size as the one we couldn't fit our quads in, but what it can do is side load. So these ramps just come out and allow you to side load on the front. So we had Cass's Kodiak here and then my quad back there and that ramp actually folds all the way down and all the way back. So you can fit a significant amount of stuff in this. The reason why we hate it is one, camping, right? Two, when you're traveling in the winter, by the time you get to anywhere you're going, it is an absolute gong show. So your brand new, fresh, clean quads are just getting snow covered and ice and it was just a hassle. So this is where we want to be and that's why we got it. Yeah. So. Pretty cool. So flip the screen. Yeah, look at that. So Yay. with that being said, we are making upgrades. We're making investment into Mainville ATV to make it better for you guys and easier on us. Yeah. One thing we didn't mention, you probably noticed, uh, this camera that we're not good at, uh, but we are learning, <laughs> is a 90D DSLR, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. We also got a GoPro 8. Oh. We're Deco. Oh. <laughs> so check this bad boy out. Looks almost the same, except... Uh, nearly identical, but you don't need a cage. Yeah. So there's plenty of videos on GoPros to go through the list of features, but one thing that we love is exactly what she's about to show you. So there's no cage on it anymore. Completely waterproof. You can put an external mic and stuff on this one. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other features yeah. that haven't come out yet. That's in like a month. Uh, so we've had the DSLR and this GoPro away for a couple weeks now. So yeah. lots of things to learn. We're getting better every day. But uh, that's basically what's going on with us. So let us know, like we said in the description, what you want to see with this trailer, uh, things that you've learned, things that you've done, what you like, pros, cons, the whole bit, and help us uh, build this thing up the way we need it. Yeah. We're going to have a whole series on this trailer, I'm sure, but I think uh, the actual build process is going to start in the spring, because as you can see, it's starting to no. snow, uh, and it gets very cold here very quick. Uh, but don't worry, we have all sorts of other content to show you guys uh, over the winter. Thanks for watching. Bye.